NASA isn't just losing a room with books. The Trump administration is moving ahead with shutting down the physical research library at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. And for the people who actually build and fly missions, this is more like removing a critical tool from the workbench. This facility functions as a specialized research hub for scientists and engineers, a place that helps teams track down hard to find technical reports, older mission documents, engineering references, and journal material that isn't always easily searchable or even fully digitized. It's also where staff can get research support quickly, not just here's a link, but someone who can actually locate the right standard, the right paper, the right historical reference, and verify it. That matters when deadlines are tight and the cost of being wrong can be catastrophic, okay? Closing a physical research library like this doesn't just mean fewer shelves. It changes how knowledge moves through an agency. If the collection gets boxed up, scattered, warehoused, or partially discarded, then materials become harder to retrieve, and the people who know how to find them, cross-reference them, and connect them to the right teams become harder to replace. And that's the part that critics keep coming back to about all of this. Institutional memory. Space agencies run on continuity. Missions can span years, even decades. The same technical questions resurface across different projects. And when you lose a centralized place where mission history and specialized resources are organized and accessible, you don't just lose convenience. You lose time, you lose context, and you risk repeating mistakes, duplicating research, paying again for things you already know, and slowing down work that's already expensive and highly technical. NASA has argued this move is part of a cost-saving consolidation, pointing to budget pressures and maintenance costs at the Greenbelt campus, but employees and critics are saying that this is a classic false economy. You save money on space and overhead, then pay back through delays, fragmented access, reduced subscriptions, and lost expertise. A research library inside a place like Goddard is not a luxury. It's part of the infrastructure that supports credible science and safe engineering. Closing it is not just an administrative change, it's a capability change. And once that capability is broken apart, it is extremely, extremely difficult to rebuild.